Welcome back to the Level Up Gaming channel and welcome to the first video in the Road to Champion series where we will be pulling specific rounds from games that went very poorly or could have been better if I had made a better decision and kind of analyzing those rounds and hopefully learning together uh, and improving together. The goal of this series is really to help you learn from my mistakes. So let's get straight to it then. I'm Hootie from Level Up Gaming and let's take your game to the next level. In this first game on Outback, you can see uh, we're up one nothing already. And I picked Kali for this round, not thinking that they were going to pick this bomb site, which is unfortunate. But there are ways that I can still play this bomb site that uh, I try to. I try to play this window here. I'm going to go ahead and drone it out, which is smart. I put a claymore down to watch for the run out just in case they hear me droning. As you can see, I don't see anybody here in the storage closet. And so I'm going to hold the door angle to see if anybody's peeking that angle, because sometimes they do. There's nobody there right now. And then I kind of decide to drone it again. And now here comes the first big mistake is I'm kind of haphazardly droning this. I see a guy there. I'm not paying attention as I drive past the window. I just kind of look in the hallway. As I jump in the window, obviously I hit that cap can charge. If I would have been paying attention, just, just even like, looking at the window before I jumped in or looking at the window when I drove past with my drone, I could have avoided that cap can charge altogether. So I'm slowly clearing out the site and peeking all the angles. And I notice a Jaeger peeking through a hole in the wall here and I take a shot at him. And because I had missed that crucial cap can charge, he knocks me almost immediately. Uh, I think one or two bullets reactionary through the wall after I had legged him and I was done. First big mistake there was not droning carefully and paying attention, just pay playing with a little too much urgency and not being careful. In this next round, I pick Yana. It, this is my first round ever playing Yana outside of like a custom match. So I was trying out her gadget a little bit, probably a little too much. And there's something to be said for being uh, particular and being slow and droning out areas before you go in. But there's another thing to be said for just spending way too much time on your drone and not actually doing anything or working with your team. And I personally think that Yana really thrives another Capcan charge. I just want to point out that for some reason during this game, I was completely oblivious, not paying any attention to whether or not there were Capcan charges. And Capcan was actually spotted this time, so I knew there was a Capcan already. But as I was saying, Yana kind of works better when she's with a group or even with just one other person because you can you can pull your clone out, go in and clear something. And as your clone is clearing a room or an angle and it gets shot, if there's another character right behind the clone that is ready to trade that shot or that peek and get a kill off of it, it's huge. Especially since a lot of the times directly after shooting one of her clones, people typically reload. So they may fire one or two bullets and they're like, oh, I got to reload. And then they just die. As you can see, I'm kind of just haphazardly using the gadget at this point. And now I finally decide to push and get some control. The diffuser is now secured. Vigil peeks me and I run away. And of course, the first thing I do is run outside and use the gadget again. And you can see Buck in the spawn there. He's actually uh, got a glitch. He's stuck on his phone unfortunately. So he leaves the round and comes back, which kind of puts us a man down for the round. But if I would have spent a little bit more time really clearing out some areas and going for some frags here, we may have had a better chance or maybe even just working with my team. The fact that I picked Yana and I kind of went off and did my thing solo and ran my clones around, but didn't actually work with my team just held us back. It was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously I wasn't thinking, because it makes no sense. Looking back at it now, I'm like, wow, you're an idiot. I would be raging at this guy. And I'm sure a couple of my teammates were. So as you can see, after that round, we're down 2-1. The next round we're going to take a look at is our first defensive round. And I actually pick Oryx. And this round starts off pretty strong. Oryx is a fun operator. I think he's going to be very niche and very strong on certain bomb sites and certain maps just for his ability to roam quickly and rotate super quickly, especially up hatches. 
I think my first mistake here though is not reinforcing anything near the bomb site. There are definitely a few walls that I could have reinforced and I just didn't pay any attention and do any of that, uh, which is highly unlike me. I think I was distracted by the new operator. Again, my first time playing Oryx and I was kind of distracted by that and I let that get the best of me. And because of that, we're probably going to lose this round, but I didn't say that. I decided to go over here into the bedroom and peek a bullet hole or the living room, whatever you call this and peek a bullet hole through to the door. I'm able to get one frag and it ends up being a uh, 1v4. Two very boring minutes later. As I come around the corner here, Yana peeks me and I'm able to get that refrag. And now it's here. Here is where I made the crucial mistake that lost us this round. It's a 1v1. I know where this player's at. I know they have the diffuser. And I know when they start diffusing it because my teammates actually have a cam on that bomb site. And instead of playing it slowly, maybe trying to peek through bathrooms or something, I kind of just rush her. And she obviously hears my fat ass running down the hallway and gets off the diffuser and kills me. Just because I knew she was diffusing the bomb doesn't mean I should have just YOLO'd in there. I should have peeked from bathrooms because there was a massive hole in the wall or maybe just walked it out and waited for her to get the diffuse and start to walk away and hold an angle, especially since I knew exactly where she was planting the diffuser. Really just a million different things. A couple different takeaways from what we just saw. Make sure you're droning carefully and pay attention while you're droning. Now, in the future, when they add the ping 2.0 system, this will be probably less of an issue or maybe it'll be even more of an issue, I'm not sure. But, you know, watch for those cap can charges, watch for frost mats, all of those sorts of things. Pay more attention. Be very uh, particular. Two, use your gadget wisely. Understand how it should be used. Use, your team, use it with your teammates if it needs to be used with your teammates. You know, just make sure you're making the right decision around your gadget. And also make sure you're using your time wisely. If you're Twitch or Yana, spending too much time on your drone isn't always a good thing. Make sure you are making those conscious decisions. And then lastly, rushed decisions equal poor results. And now I cannot stress this one enough. You watched that last clip. I listened to my teammate say she was playing in the corner and I said, screw it. I'm going in. And I kind of just rushed in there and I didn't really think that one through and I lost the round because of it. If I would have taken even just a half of a second, maybe even less than that, to think about what I was about to do and slow it down a little bit, I probably would have won that round. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from this, and I hope this helps you take your game to the next level. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys next time.